Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. The people asked and we have delivered. Um, Callum Rids is here. Obviously, Cal, you saw the requests in the in the chat room. People wanted us to, to speak to you and, and you're here. Yeah, I mean, fan of the people, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, it, it's been a whirlwind few months for you. I think we've seen just about every emotion possible from you, whether that be on a stage, on social media. What, what's it been like the last few months? I don't, I, it's weird because, like, on the floor, I've actually been playing really good stuff pretty much all year round. Just on the stage, I mean, I don't know why it, it's not happened. I've I've struggled and I don't know why. I mean, the game against Hempel probably set it all five to up. And in my opinion, I absolutely bottled it. And that's why I, I punched my dark tears. Probably should have waited another 15 seconds <laughs> to get off stage. But it doesn't matter, you know, in my opinion. If I win a game, I lose a game. I'm going to get crap because I've lost someone a bet. I haven't done this for that bet. I've not done that. It's it's just, it's one of them. Is the dark case all right, though? Because it was it was some punch. I didn't hit it hard enough, I don't think. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Still got my darts in, so. Um, but but from there, you, you bounced back and turned it into a real positive because after the Hempel game, on the on the floor and on the, on the Euro Tour, we saw some great stuff from you. Yeah, obviously Switzerland was a, a little bit of a breakthrough. You know, I've won one game on the European Tour all year, and by my standards, that's not good enough. Um, I've had some tough draws, but at the same time, I still think I should be winning more than one game. And you know, all I thought in Switzerland was just don't do it again. If you know what I mean, and you know, Brendan, I knew Brendan was struggling with a little bit of an injury, so it was get on top of them early, and that's exactly what I did. Obviously, that Euro Tour, there was implications <clears throat> elsewhere because you almost gate-crashed the World Grand Prix. Obviously, we're, we're here in Leicester at the moment. You you almost made it a reality. Yeah, I mean, it would have been funny if I not went out of the spot, wouldn't it? You know, uh, like one of my best friends on tour, and to be fair, once Ryan Phil beat us, I ran him, I went... Uh, Aren't you happy now that you're in? You don't have to keep checking it every three seconds because that's all he's ever done for the last two months. Keep checking it. And yeah, I hope he does a, you know, does himself good tonight and win a game and, you know, get into the next round. Was there, was there plenty of banter flying around in your WhatsApp chats then? <laughs> no, nah, not really. Um, you know, he, he said about uh, the Wessel, when he got beat off Wessel and he thought about it and, you know, me and Jim Williams, it's tension because that's all he's been speaking about was the Grand Prix and, you know, he, he got in, but I would have loved to have knocked him out because then he, there would have been some some sort of banter flying around them chats. Look, are you hoping that this is now going to springboard you because we've seen you win titles, we've seen that explosive game that you have. Are you hoping now this is the next chapter of, of Callum Ridge's career? Yeah, I mean, I just want to get back to, you know, being happy when I go away playing darts. Sometimes I just, you know, I can't be bothered. And I think, like, Switzerland, I was just shattered. You know, that's why I pulled out of the Pro Tours. Um, but then, obviously, I was watching some of it in your stream and some games on, on the live. And, like, Glenn Durant, he said that he thought it was not stupid, but he was surprised to see my name not there. And but when Humphrey said he was taking a break because he was exhausted, that was fine if that made sense. And yeah. it, it annoyed us a little bit because I was shattered and I can't take a break because I'm not world number one. But when the schedules jam packed week after week, I was home, you know, three days in two weeks, you know, and it is hard because I am a family man, you know, I'd, my granddad lives 10 minutes away from where I live, I love spending time with them. And my full family, my, my two dogs, my, my girlfriend. And it, it's hard being away all the time, but it's just sacrifices that I'm going to have to start making properly next year. Is this almost like, it, just listening to you speak, it almost as if you found yourself and you've almost grown up a little bit and you're maturing into this role as a professional dart player, where perhaps beforehand you hadn't? Yeah, possibly. I mean, you know, there's so many, you can ask what else this. I've... There's times I've, you know, shared rooms with them on Pro Tours and I've woke up and I've just went, I can't be bothered today. You know, and it is, it's one of them. It's Sometimes it's too much. I just need to get, 
uh, the right mindset of playing all the time consistently. I mean, I know I'm not going to average 110 every every day. Matt. That's not going to happen, but I know I can go 105 four, five, four games in a row. So I've done it before. I've done it, you know, quite a few times. But the standard on the floor is is unbelievable. You could lose to, like, rank 100th and they could average, you know, like 104. You know, I mean, the standard at the minute is absolutely ridiculous. So, and when I do lose to... Not lesser run players, I don't want to say that, but players I think I should beat. It, it is frustrating, and I just think next time it's not going to happen. It's like I said, the Switzerland run was just a breath of fresh air, and like, like I said, I, hopefully I can turn my season around a little bit. Yeah, and look, we've seen you win titles before. We've seen you go on great runs on TV. The Alexandra Palace run springs to mind. How close are you to that version of your game? I, I don't know. Um, I've changed my darts a little bit this year. I've, I've went to a smaller barrel. I've went back to the set I played at the Worlds with uh, when I made the quarters. And now I've found a dart which I, I'm really settled with. And it's coming back. But I, obviously, I don't want to say, oh, I'm, I'm back. Because, you know, I know I'm not. I need to put the hard work in to get back. And that's what I'm doing. When you look at, obviously, I know you've got a great relationship with, with Dobes and the banner that you have up in, in the North East. When you see him doing what he's doing, does that spur you on as well? Going, hang on a minute, I can do that as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look, I've played darts with Doby now for, God, 12 years. And, you know, it's it's great seeing your friends do well. And it, and it hurts a little bit because, you know, I know I can do it. I, I've won titles and, you know, not a major like he has, like he keeps reminding us. But... <laughs> You know, I I have got a major in this and I know I do. It's just obviously when it's going to happen. Obviously, to see you come through this is is fantastic because there are a lot of people worried that you were just going to pack it all in and, and walk away from the sport. Did that ever cross your mind at any point during the low time? Oh, all the time. Yeah, I, I think about it all the time. I think, you know, if I win the Worlds, can I just, you know, give up? I always think of little things like this, but... You know, if I don't know if I won the world say three times by what twenty six, say nine years, thirty five, I would wrap it in definitely. I mean, I've I've met some absolute great people playing darts. You know, friends for life, as people say. But it it does tire you out week in week out, and you, that's me not playing the Premier League. You know what I mean? So I I couldn't think what it's like for them boys being away from their families twenty four seven, like young kids, and but. It is still a dream of mine to do it. I would love to play at the Premier League. I would love to play at Newcastle. I've been the last two years and the atmosphere is amazing. So one day, hopefully, I could. I can be there. What would a good end of the year look like for Callum Reds? Uh, How many pro tours are left? Four. Four, yeah. I, I would take another semi-final on the pro tour and hopefully touch wood, I can sneak into the Europeans. Good run there. And the Grand Slam, I would really like to get in the Grand Slam because I've never, ever played in it. And then, obviously, Players' Championships and all eyes focusing on Alexandra Palace in December? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the players, is, it, it, it's like the build-up of the world, isn't it? You know, I mean, you've got, sometimes you've got players that have deep run. I, I know I made the quarters two or three years ago, but I didn't play well. It was like the... The match play run that I had, you know, at Blackpool, I didn't play well at Blackpool, but I, I scraped through games. And I think sometimes with with darts, especially, if you're scraping through games, it's a great habit to have when you can grind out a result. Well, Cal, it's, it's great to, to speak to you and it's great to see you smiling again and, and enjoying it, buddy. So thank you very much for, for taking the time to speak to us and we wish you all the very best, buddy. Thank you. Cheers, Phil. Wow.